I've been looking for a couple news stories. I saw a couple that could interest you. you might maybe <clears throat> I might do a couple more, but this one really stuck at me like a like a thumb. This one's called Cops Point Guns at and handcuff a little kid. This is just this is just apology. It really is. Cop handcuffs innocent eleven year old mother now suing. Let's get to it. Your kid is ten or eleven years old, okay? And because of something the dad has done in a traffic situation, the kid, the child, gets arrested, gets put in handcuffs. Here it is. Hands, hands, put the phone down now. Sit. Lay down, lay down, lay down, put the phone down. Stand up, okay? Stand up, you're good. Stand up, I got you. Hey, you're good, you're good, all right? Stand up, I got you. You're gonna be okay. Stand up, I got you. I'm gonna detain you for right now, okay? Let me get every phone that's sitting on the ground so we don't break it, all right? Are you okay? It's fine, these come off just as easy, all right? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. 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 Stop pulling away! Stop! Stop! Wow! Stop! Where's the sergeant? Stop! Get off me, dude! Stop! I'm gonna pull your mask up, okay? You're okay? You're not hurt at all? No! Are you ambulance I'm Things gonna be good. Don't worry about it, alright? Three heads out on James We're gonna take the patch out of the metro. Yep, we'll let you make some phone calls in the He's okay! He's okay! He's alright! Here, do me a favor. Let's go inside the car, okay? You're good. You're good. It's Where's your mom at? He's at home. Okay. This kid was shaking. He said, I'm scared. He said, can I call my mom? He was terrified. Yeah. You could tell that kid, I mean, he was scared. I mean, when you're dealing with a police, especially a young kid, you you don't know what the cops going to do to you. Yeah, the kid wanted to call his mom. He probably scared his mom. He wanted he wanted to talk to his parents. You can tell that kid. I mean, he was literally seconds away to burst into tears like crying because it's a horror. It's a horrifying situation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, eleven years of age. We yeah. think he may have been ten when this happened. This is out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Okay, the mother has now filed a lawsuit Ann Arbor. That's where against Derek lives. DET. that police and that police department for yeah. wrongful arrest. Wow. And she's right to file this lawsuit. Exactly. I'm going to give you some background to this case. Um, the lawsuit uh, was filed on October 5th. All right. According to the lawsuit, on April 16th, a shooting reportedly happened at the Briarwood Shopping Mall in Ar Ann Arbor, Michigan. It's so about 40 miles west of Detroit. The boy and his father were headed to a mall, but were unaware of the shooting when they encountered police redirecting incoming traffic coming toward the mall. The boy's father, okay? The boy's father turned the car around, but ventured onto oncoming traffic on Interstate 94, which led the police to follow the father with the boy in the car in a high-speed chase with speeds reaching 100 miles per hour until the father eventually pulled over. Police say the boy's father faces several charges because of the high-speed chase, including fleeing and eluding, resisting and obstructing child abuse because the child was in the car and driving on a suspended or revoked license. Listen, I'm not here to defend the actions, <clears throat> excuse me, of the father. No. That was irresponsible. Did. Yeah. Okay. I'm the here to follow erratic. He the actions up. of the unconstitutional behavior of the taxpayer-funded police who took an oath to uphold the Constitution. 
the father will have to deal with his legal case. Yeah, the fa yeah, the father's gonna have to answer for his crime. She's gonna have to pay the consequence. We'll be fine, or it's in jail time. But these cops, are, you know, they're taking an oath to protect the community, you know, and to protect the citizens of the community, to, to uphold the Constitution of the Bill of Rights, the first, you know, what is the first, the First Amendment, Second Amendment, or any amendment rights. That's not my issue, but this copy is because we pay him. I don't pay that father. Yeah. He got an issue. He'll deal with it. Yeah. Okay. He'll this kid should have never been arrested. Pay a fine or do some this kid temporary. gave him no reason to arrest him, to handcuff him. None. Not one. You don't get more in compliance than this 10, 11 year old kid. All right. Uh, the young boy's mother, her name is Marquia Dixon. She recounted the events of that day. She said, and I quote, my son. When he called me, he was too scared to tell me what was going on. I didn't know until after the fact of me picking him up. Just imagine being so afraid, so shocked that you can't even tell your mother exactly. what has happened to you. Because you're so scared of your mind. It gets deeper. Dixon describes her son as a good kid who does well in school, has never had behavioral issues. Her son is undergoing regular counseling because of the traumatic experience. He's scared of the police. He's very quiet about the situation. You know why? Because he's traumatized. Yeah. He doesn't want to talk about and it. And I don't blame him for not wanting to talk about it. Um, when you're traumatized, but you don't want to talk about release, that kind of stuff. The township, Pittsville, um, in a press release, Harshberger says, who's the public safety director, it has been determined that the Pittsville officer acted in compliance with department policy in assisting other officers conducting a felony stop and securing the scene for the safety of all. Are you kidding me? That right there is freaking top explaining at its fire. Securing the scene of the safety of all to put handcuffs on a fucking child? Are you kidding me? That's blasphemous. Oh, oh, why do you just say so? Yeah. It's policy? Well, that makes it all better. It's written somewhere. That yeah, it's just like cops get to say, oh, yeah, let's just put, no, let's just detain everybody, even though they're victims or especially, you know, especially you go to a scene like a woman's, you know, you know, traumatized being a sexual victim like that. Oh, yeah, let's just detain her because we need to secure the scene. Get the fuck out of here. Again, cops explaining. That it's okay to lock up a 10-year-old kid who has done absolutely nothing to deserve handcuffs. You should have told me that in the beginning. Yeah. It's simply the policy. Cops you know what else that was that is the finest, boys and girls. Black folks couldn't sit where they wanted to sit on the bus. Yeah. That was a policy. I could not drink out of a certain water fountain. That well, that's like back then, you know, but black people couldn't sit there like that. And who broke that barrier? Rosa Parks did back in the city. Who stood up for black American people in the city? Martin Luther King way. That's what happened. Back in the day, you had separate races, you know, going to the bathroom like that. Well, people say in prison, they're still like that. Well, that's that's called politics. That's because you have to, you know, it's called politics and, 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 and different things like that. When you go prison, you're going to have to hang on your own race like that. But we're on today's site. We're in the 21st century, boys and girls. It was a policy. I could not vote without counting jelly beans in a damn jelly bean jar. That was a policy. Stop with this it's policy garbage as if somehow. Yeah, I mean, seriously, it's like, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's a, pro, it's a, it's a policy. It's protocol. Bull fucking shit. It is m nothing more, nothing less than stupefy cop splaining at its finest. That should make it all better. I don't give a damn if it's policy. Yeah. If it is policy, that policy needs to be rewritten, done away with. You don't lock it up. It needs to be reformed. A child, that policy a child does. like this. You're the police. You can't moralize on the father when you're doing something equally damaging, if not worse. No, that I mean you you traumatized that poor kid. You the mother said it. He's too traumatized to talk. He don't want to talk about it. And I don't blame the kid. 
because that kid went through a traumatic experience. You go through a traumatic experience like that, you don't want to relive it. You don't want to talk about it. It's like a woman getting raped, you know, or like that. That woman doesn't want to relive it. She doesn't want to talk about it. That's called a living traumatic experience. Um, the attorney is Dion, excuse me, Dion Webster Cox. Dion Webster Cox has filed this lawsuit and said, and I quote, if there is a minor child and the minor child is calm and the minor child is not attacking you, then you don't put that minor child in handcuffs. Got that right. Said the attorney. Yeah. Dixon's lawsuit claims excessive force, assault and battery, gross negligence, intentional emotional distress. It's not even about the money. I want justice. I, I, I want justice. I want them to see what they have done. They don't realize it. They don't care. Said Dixon. Exactly. Listen, they need I know to some people will come done. back and say, but you know, the officer was being so nice money, his words, justice. but he was being adversarial in his actions. And this kid is not traumatized by the words of the cops. He's traumatized by the actions. All right. Uh, ben, what are your thoughts here? I mean, that's what made it so disturbing. That, that that's, It's one of the most disturbing clips I've seen because it just demonstrates the casual ingrained racism of, oh, we can treat black people as second-class citizens. We can, yeah. while saying everything is okay, yeah, it's oh, like it's totally fine. You know, I'm just going to put handcuffs on you for no reason. Fiddle. Oh, it's totally that's cool. Crap. I'm going to lift your mask up. I'm going to touch your pockets. Oh, it's totally cool. I'm just going to put you in a police car. This is normal. This is yeah, how life is supposed to be. I need to take your phone away for about a minute. Have any while, you know, check your pockets that, other than you, you, wow, I can't even trust I mean, the words crazy. of yep. law enforcement. The words of law enforcement are that it's fine and normal. Yeah, what, first place, why that pop even you know handle that doing that, that kid's phone? That's I've a kid's phone. That's a property. I've just been through a event myself when his father was driving irresponsibly on a freeway. That child needs to be calmed down and cared for and not the opposite. That's it, right. The All the kids felt was just like the witch from Hansel and, and, and Gretel. Like, like, come on in. Cops are Everything's not fine like as they get led into an oven. You know, cops are supposed to do it. Escalate. The not most, escalate the situation. That clip made me sick to my stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, brother, for those words and that Hell insight. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, when I saw that, when I saw that clip, it just made my blood boil, ladies and gentlemen. It really did. It made me fume and pissed off like you, like, like there's no end. I mean, I want to rage, but you know. That's just ridiculous. Like I said, policy is just simplified cop explaining at its finest. Think about that. With that said, I'm out of here. Mike, job. Peace out. Much love and respect. Take care of yourself and each other.